My name is Tim Matson. I work at Intel Corporation, and I'm going to present our paper, Evaluation of Graph Analytics Frameworks Using the GAP Benchmark Suite. I work at a corporation, so here's our disclaimer. So we studied five different graph analytics frameworks. The sweet sparse implementation of the graph laws. This also included the LA graph library. This is graphs in the language of linear algebra and using algebraic semi-rings to control which operations you use at the low level. Galois, a data-centric programming model that operates over a scalable concurrent data structures. It shines in its ability to support CPUs, GPUs, and clusters from one system. Graph it from MIT, um, you, you build on this idea of a separation of concerns between writing the code with the DSL and the schedules for optimizing it. Let's them explore a very large optimization space. The graph kernel collection from CMU is a library, but they do a very low level detailed hardware software uh, co-design that really makes them stand out. Uh, so they can take advantage of low level features of the system. And then NW Graph from University of Washington and Pacific Northwest National Lab. Um, you know, I study this project because it's an indication of where you would go if you used all the features of C++ to design a graph library, a very impressive project. To compare these, we invited the people behind each framework to join us on this paper. That's why the authors list is so long. This is critical because that's the only way we could be sure that each system was being shown to its best advantage. We ran on the same identical hardware, a dual socket CPU uh, board, and then we used a neutral graph benchmark suite, meaning the person providing the benchmark suite, Scott Beamer with the graph benchmark suite, um, didn't have an ax to grind in the different frameworks. So we can get an even-handed comparison with six algorithms and five different graphs. And then the teams cross-validated results to make sure we had reproducibility. This is the results, and you just have to go to the paper. Obviously, walking through this would be ridiculous. But the idea is we're reporting speed up relative to the numbers from the GAP reference implementation. Red means you were slower than GAP, green means you were faster, white means you were about the same speed. And you ran once out of the box, that was the baseline, you just took the fault parameters. Second data set, you got to optimize and do everything you needed to make it run fast. So what we found in looking at this is no single framework dominated, and uh, we have a lot of future work planned where we're gonna extend to different frameworks and look at more hardware diversity. Um, but this basically is it.